Hey everyone and welcome to another installment of Tom's World. Today I am coming by just to check on the garden, Sorobia, uh, just to see. This is like the first significant snowfall that we had. Happened about two days ago. Some of the snow has melted, but for the most part, things are still pretty covered. So I wanted to check out the garden. I haven't been here for a little while. Uh, life has been happening. I was without a car for a little while, so I couldn't really get around. However, here I am and I uh, just wanted to check up on the garden. Also, I am, I am totally, totally humbled at the fact that I have actually just crossed 800 subscribers. Actually, 801 at the time that I was filming this. It just blows my mind. Now, I know I have said in other videos and other live feeds that I've done that when I first started this channel, I actually didn't even expect to get like 10, 20 subscribers. And now here I am almost two years later almost actually almost to the day two years later uh, from when I first started making videos I mean I had one video that I made as like a little test thing so I don't count that so my first full-length video was I believe right around my birthday which is actually a week from today so today is Monday the 31st my birthday is February 7th and uh, I'll be another year older, 47. Sounds weird to say, but... And I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. It's a, it's a little tough walking in the snow. And, uh, you know, it's, it's cold out and stuff. You know, one excuse upon another. But, uh, man, this place just looks so beautiful with the snow. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I miss the flowers. I really, really miss the flowers. Looking back at the garden over here, which I will show you in a minute. Um, but first and foremost, I just wanna say to each and every one of you, thank you. And welcome to the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying my channel. I've put a lot of work into this. I know they're not the most professional of videos, but I've done my best. Um, I have a lot of history in the different videos you could check out. The last video I did was the, um, the history of the Byberry Friends Quaker Meeting House and Grounds. That, was, that video took almost two months to make. There was a lot of delays. I had to go back there multiple times to get more shots and stuff like that, but that was a fun video, and I'm glad that everybody had liked that one. Um, again, I put a lot of work into it, so it makes me happy that other people actually liked it. So anyway, uh, let me turn this camera around, and I'll show you what I'm looking at here. So here we are in the snow-covered Serobia, which I think that is what I will title this video. Something in there, something like that. And here is the snow-covered garden. It's kind of depressing. I mean, when these when these plants we put in here first started growing up and everything, it was it was looking so great. But they're all perennials outside of the uh, the flowers that were on either side the uh, nasturtiums i believe they were they won't come back but everything else should come back so i can't wait to see what that looks like we still have months to go before that happens though there's the little uh little pond or whatever you want to call it that's probably frozen over i actually didn't look when i first came in i was too busy looking at the camera well we can't tell i'm assuming since there's snow on top of it, that's probably ice underneath. And it's not like terribly cold out right now. Um, it's, uh, I think last time I checked, I think it said it was like 30 degrees, but there's no wind. So it's actually very tolerable with just a hoodie on. So um, yeah, this is uh, Serobia covered in snow. Now I know that I made at least a couple videos last year with the different snowfalls that we had, but still looks beautiful. Not a lot of people have been in here. There's not a whole lot of tracks. I'm actually probably gonna make more tracks walking through here than there were when I came in. So if you come by here and it looks all crappy because of all the footprints in here, I'm sorry. <laughs> but there is something magical about snow, despite the fact that I don't like it. I could do without snow and I'd be fine. But uh, there is just something about it. Something that 
gives places a different look completely. Walking up to the sundial here. We could call this sundial number two, because I do believe that the other sundial on the other side of the garden that does not have one of those things on top, I forget what they're called. Um, it's, uh, I think that one was made first and this one was probably made second. But it's still holding strong on there this year. Last year we had a little issue with the cold, the extreme cold and the, the snow. And whatever was used to... Uh, that was my shadow, by the way. How you doing? Um, we, uh, whatever it is that we used to put it on there, I don't know because I wasn't here when it was fastened on there. Uh, did not hold through the cold weather, so I think we have learned from that. And whatever they used to put on there this time... Seems to be holding really well. I don't know if you can hear the sound of my feet sinking in the snow. That's kind of like ASMR stuff. I'm sure he had some snow piled on him at some point that has since melted. There's a little bit on top, not much. Hard to see. Side view of the garden. As I've mentioned in other videos, when I've shown the flowers, when they were in full bloom, this one right here, you can see it's sticking up. That's a columbine. That got quite large towards the end. So I, I'm hopeful that when that comes back, it's going to have tons of flowers on it. And wait until you see those flowers. If you didn't see them last year, I mean, you can always go back and check those videos. But they're really cool looking flowers. It's, it's actually my favorite flower. Because it's so unique looking. There's a couple of them over here. Some ferns scattered throughout in there. And then we have, this is what's left of the, uh, the hostas. Now I know that the, the other volunteers had trimmed back a lot of the plants in the fashion that you're supposed to. To get things ready for winter and uh snow's really deep right here actually another flower over here that was cut back for the winter this bush here and uh it looks different this year because of how much was cleared out on the other side of the fence there and once I'm done making this video, I'm going to walk around because it looks like the uh, the maintenance team has been doing some work, maybe before the snow. See some vehicles back there. I'm just going to check it all out. But uh, yeah, this is uh, snow-covered Sorobia. Anyway, I just wanted to make a quick video, mostly just to say thank you. Thank you to every one of my subscribers. You have all given me so much support. And, and I cannot begin to express enough gratitude toward you. The comments you've all made and the support that you give me even on Facebook as I post the links to these videos. Everything has been overwhelmingly good, I guess. I, I don't know the right words to use there. Any case, um, I'm going to walk around in here a little bit. So I'm going to wrap up this video now. And uh, once again, thank you to everybody. And uh, there will be some more videos to come as the weather permits anyway. Uh, now that I have the car back, I can start traveling around a little bit, not too far, but still I'll be able to get some new locations. And I've been scouting out some, some of them I've been scouting for uh, months and months. I just haven't got to them yet. Some of them I've just recently come across, so have to do my due diligence, my uh, my history research, and uh, see which ones I can get to, and uh, I will be making them as soon as possible. I can't give a definite time frame, as life does happen, as we all know, but uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to get out of here before I start rambling too much. Or at least too much more than I already have. Once again, thank you all. 
I will see you all on the next one. Make sure you stay safe, stay healthy, and take care.